Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another video. So, <coughs> um, yeah, I wanted to talk about world partition here. Uh, one, it's really buggy. It's almost unusable. It's missing features that are really, really needed. So let me kind of break this down for you. Uh, let's see if we can play this. So uh, one of the features that it uh, lacks, okay, that's, I forgot about that. Yeah, and there's that weird glitchy bug right there. I wanted to show you that. So you can go back and play it in slow motion. So uh, the convert tool uh, has, uh, the convert level tool has a lot of issues. Um, the world partition system, it breaks things up in patches. So when I converted this level before, uh, I do, okay, I deleted that one. I just wanted to make sure. So when I converted this uh, tool before, uh, it was, uh, let's see, actually I have the picture. Uh, let's see. So if I go to videos, you'll see that this is what it was doing. So it was loading this uh, tile, this tile, or actually it quit loading the landscape all across here. Uh, so, but in some patches it wasn't loading procedural foliage, but it was loading it in the distance, as you can see right here, and all right here and here. Uh, that's one issue with it. Uh, that's just one of many. Uh, another issue is that when you have another map like this, it's actually faster if you come up here to edit project settings, maps and modes. We're going to replace the edit startup map with this one. When you have big maps like this, uh, it's actually quicker uh, to set that as the map, exit, and then open it back up so that it loads up with that map. Because for whatever reason, uh, there must be some issues, maybe some memory issues or something, but when you, if you don't do it like that, it'll take like 30 minutes to load a large map as opposed to how long it just took to load this one, <laughs> uh, which is really weird. I don't know why it does that, but every time I've tried to load uh, switch maps uh, inside of here, it takes about 30 minutes to load. Or I can go up here to edit project settings, maps and modes, and I can set that map as the default map, exit and reopen, and you've seen how fast it loads. So uh, also, uh, I'm having issues with patchiness. As you can see, uh, the world partition system, they, they're trying to sell as an, uh, the new open world system for Unreal Engine. And it's, it's a disaster. Look at this. It's, it's crap, dude. Uh, I don't know what these guys are smoking, but, uh, they had no business releasing Unreal Engine 5 in this state uh it's ridiculous it's disgusting it's a disaster uh it's unusable it's it's just i don't know what they were thinking man uh every new feature uh that i've seen so far is very very bug prone and it's constantly crashing the engine not only do every does every feature that's new uh, crash the engine, but it they're also every feature is packed ton of just chuck ton of bugs, man. It's it's so ridiculous. Uh, it, it's it's unusable. So I'm gonna uh, show you something here real quick. So if I select this procedural foliage volume right here, uh, and I come down here and I load unloaded assets, you'll see it loads in those those patches right there on this tile. And it'll do the same thing on that other one if I do this. Now, why is it loading? Why is it uh, doing the H LODs like that? Why are the H LODs being uh, mix matched? I don't, I don't get that. Uh, also, uh, 
uh, the fact that I have to manually come in here and select each tiny little grid in my in my uh, huge 64 square kilometer uh, map uh, that I have to come in here and select each tiny little little uh, patch and I have to manually set the H log layer for those or manually set the runtime grid for each and every single one of these it, th that's just ridiculous why do I have to do that uh, why, why is there not an option to do that like somewhere else I don't I don't understand why it's doing that it's just it's ridiculous and it makes things way way harder than world composition did uh, I mean world composition is like way better than this right now in the current state of world partition world composition it blows world partition out of the water because it's so much better than world partition you don't have to deal with this dumb crap inside of world uh, composition. It's ridiculous, dude. I don't uh, know what these guys are smoking, but they need to lay off the crack uh, and or they need to start firing people. I don't know, man, but there was no sense in releasing this in the state that it that it's currently in. Also, I wanted to uh, mention something else that's a, a really a big deal about the world partition system. It's missing a feature that's very, very vital to open world games. Uh, and I want to go ahead and uh, show that to you. So if we go over here to the foliage types and we just, uh, let me see here. Uh, actually, it'd probably be faster because if I just open one of these procedural foliage volumes up, You'll see what I'm talking about. So if I just open these up, you'll see there's no world partition settings in here. If I go to the foliage type, there's no world partition settings for the foliage types. Uh, they're the only thing uh, related to world partition as far as settings go is include an H lot. Uh, that's that's it. That's the only thing that they that they have as far as the foliage types. So uh, you can't specifically, and let me show you what I mean. So if I come down here, you'll see the big, the big ones and the tiny ones are all encompassed inside this, inside this H log grid right here. So you see that that's, Everything on this is encompassed into that. So uh, if you wanted to be able to uh, have the trees render uh, render in further out, but not the, the rocks and the, the, these tiny foliage pieces, uh, then you have no control over that. Uh, there's, there's no control for it. And this is foliage, one of the most important aspects of an open world game. Uh, and they just completely overlooked that. They was like, "Oh, we don't need that." I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't know what they were thinking, but we need control over that because in levels like this, uh, when you're over here on a cliff, uh, these trees were designed to be performance friendly, uh, far out, and to be blanketed across the landscape like this. So. It, it, it would be cool if they had actually had the foresight to think, let's allow them to separate these for the HLOD system so that they can choose to have smaller things not render so far out or uh, be loaded in so far out, whereas trees are loaded in farther out. That would be ideal. But again, uh, I don't know what these guys are smoking, but they definitely didn't seem to have too much foresight into how this system might be used in an open world because there's a very big gap in features here. And aside from the features, the system just doesn't work at all. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe uh, it works when you couple it with 
nanite meshes and you, and you don't take foliage into consideration. It seems like all these new systems that they built, they built, they built, but they left foliage completely out of all of these new features. Like they said, oh, we don't need foliage. They're, you know, like games don't have foliage in them. Why would we support foliage? I don't get it. But anyway, that's my rant. Uh, this is the world partition system. It's complete and utter garbage. And if I worked for Unreal, I would be embarrassed uh, by the state of Unreal Engine 5 as it is right now. Uh, yeah, and uh, before we go, though, I wanted to show you one more thing. Uh, check this out. This is being caused, caused directly by World Partition and their crappy HLOD system. So I'll press play, guaranteed crash every single time. See, it didn't even throw an error message that time. It just straight up crashed. Okay, there it goes. His valid chords. And the error is runtime spatial hash grid helper. Surprise, surprise. World partition, guys, is crashing the engine. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm fed up with this, man. I mean, how am I supposed to get anything done inside of Unreal Engine 5 if everything makes the, if everything crashes the engine? Every time I turn around, I am running into brick walls. And those brick walls are in regards to engine crashes and bugs. And a lot of people uh, may not even realize it's so buggy because I think most people are still trying to stick to UE4 until UE5 has uh, gotten more updates. And I don't blame them. It's, that was a good idea. I wish I would have done the same. There's some people, however, that are saying, oh, I haven't ran into any bugs or crashes in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, well, you've probably not used any of the new features then uh, because it, when you start using the new features in Unreal Engine 5, you're going to quickly run into this. I've ran into about a dozen different crashes. Most of those crashes were involving sequencer and control rig. And then, you know, this more recent one uh, in regards to the world partition system. So anyway, that's all i got to say about it, guys. That's my rant. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really disappointed in Unreal. They had no business releasing this as they did. Uh, I'm really considering... Uh, porting the animations from my Unreal Engine 5 project, the ALS, uh, uh, to CC4 project. I might port those animations over to Unreal Engine 4 and make an Unreal Engine 4 version of this uh, and just go back to Unreal Engine 4 because I'm so sick of Unreal Engine 5 right now uh, that I, I, I think I'm about ready to just throw in the towel on it, give it a year, maybe two years until they've worked out all the bugs. And there's a lot. So it's going to take time for them to, to fix all of those. Anyway, that's all I got to say.